the annual Cherry and White game has finally arrived, which means food, games, music, excitement, and football. I mean, it's wild. It's crazy. It's a little bit of mayhem, but that's exactly what I know. I know Coach wants. Um, but it's really great to walk around, see everybody. I think everybody is just so excited about the program, the direction we're going. You know, we're conference champions. We're just starting, and we keep talking. We're just building this program into something that's a, you know, consistently a top 25 program. Temple fans, from young to those who are a bit more mature, lined up and down Diamond Street, and some former football players showed their love for Temple University. I came to Temple in 1959. The best years of my life I spent here, and uh, I continue to be a Temple L. I'm 76 years old and I've loved every minute I've been involved with Temple. Uh, I've been a season ticket holder though since 1971. It's like a brotherhood almost, you know? But it's great to see these young kids uh, come out. And they're monsters now. I doubt if I can play now. These guys are 300 pounds. I don't know what their mothers have fed. It may be pouring down rain here at the Cherry and White game, but the fans are still here because they're excited to see the returning champs and the new head coach, Jeff Collins, in action. You know, we're in a place now where the weather really doesn't impact it. Um, we've had, our fans uh, are really chomping at the bit to see this team, see Coach Collins and uh, the new staff. I'm really excited for our new coach. I think he's got a lot of energy. He's super positive. I think we really got something going this year, and it's going to be better than last year. I'm most excited to see uh, the new prospects and see how well they do. The excitement for the upcoming season will have to wait until the opener at Notre Dame on September 2nd. But that doesn't stop the fans from dreaming about another shiny trophy. Every game is a win. Home, home games, away games, every game's a winner. If we're playing 12, I'd say 9-3. and three. I believe we're going to have at least a 10-win season. All of them, however many games they play. The fans may have a lot of confidence in the Owls, but that's what fans are for, right? Let's go Owls! Go Owls! And let's go Owls! For Campus Connect from Temple University, I'm Tracy Yatsko.